Okay, so this is my miscellaneous, I would say, category. This is going to be like detox products, blow dry lotions. Uh, what are these? These are uh, dry shampoos, like finishing shine sprays, edge control, like a couple of like leave in treatments, and some styling lotions. These are good for like blow drying and everything, and some hairsprays. So, we can get right into it. Is anything old in here that I want to get rid of? And really the answer is no. I try to, these, I try to limit just because I just can't have too many of these around. I keep my hair curly more than I do have it straight. So I definitely don't want to keep too many of these, you know, hanging around. Okay, so I can tell you first of all, what are things that I have not tried? That'll help me kind of wane these down. What have I tried or what I don't like? I can say that for the most part, I like mostly everything. This Cream of Nature Edge Control, it's okay. And for that reason, I'm going to declutter it. Girl's Daughter Minoy Hairspray was a little bit wonky to me so I'm just gonna declutter that somebody might like that but I did let's go through the ones that I have not tried I have not tried the diva curl I have not tried this set it free okay I definitely need to try those from the line I need to try these dry shampoos this is a chlorine one this is you know what I have three dry shampoos I feel like I can give that a good shot Okay, this one is $11 way. Oh, I have tried this one. I really do like this dry shampoo. So I'm actually going to keep this. And I have not tried the treatment mask. So um, I think it's a good amount of product in here where I can try this out. So I'm going to hang on to these over here. This curl control paste, I actually really do like over the edge control by Cream of Nature. So I'm going to hang on to this just so I have an edge control because as you can tell, the other one was okay. I'm in a, I'm in search for a really great edge control, y'all. So list it down below if you have a good one. And I have not tried this win, but this product kind of scares me, you guys. Why does it have that this product is gluten-free? Y'all explain that to me. I have not opened this. Uh, mm, I don't know how I feel about this. You can scrunch this in the hair. I think this is a texturizing spray. Yeah. I don't like wet ones. These are more dry. So I think I have not even opened this. So either this is going to be passed along to someone or be put in a giveaway. So let this one I really do like. This is the Bumble and Bumble. I think I've talked about this. This one, um, I just unwrapped this one. So I'm actually going to put this one in a giveaway. I really do like this. This is great for curly. Uh, you're, you're styling your hair. If you are trying to heat style your hair, this is a great one. Bumble and Bumble is pricey and is in Sephora, but I really do like this. So I'm actually going to put this one in the giveaway and keep mine. Just because I feel like this is top notch when it comes to blow dry blow dry uh blow drying your hair if you want a cream this one is really good this is the fr fruit teas this is the flat iron express i've had this for i think more than a year have i no this came in a boxy charm it may be close to a year but i'm gonna pass it on before it goes bad but my sister flat irons her hair and she blow dries it she probably would like this so i'm gonna pass that on to her I have not tried these. These are from the Madam CJ Walker. This is the Silkening Blowout Cream. It's priming and protecting. I need to try that. So I'm gonna put that over there. I know I'm gonna use that during the winter months. I have tried the Briogeo, but I'm gonna hang on to this one because I want to compare the two. So I'll hold on to these because they are blow dry creams. This PYT Argon Oil was amazing. I'm going to, I think, make a concoction of this be just because it is leaking somehow but it smells amazing and it is an argon oil that you can put in your hair to protect your hair I'm going to um, take this out of the bottle but this one was really really good so I'm gonna keep this one 
this leave-in it's a 10 is amazing it's pricey from the drugstore but it is a great leave-in conditioner a great leave-in product so i'm going to hold on to this diva curl build-up buster i have a review on this and y'all it's worth the money okay it's pricey but it clean cleanses the scalp like nothing i've seen this is a wonderful scalp exfoliator. I have not tried this. This would be great to compare to the Briogeo one. I have not tried that one either. Let me know if you guys have, but I want to try this. And I have not tried this. Um, this is a 48 Ultra Strong Sheer Set Breathable Hold Hairspray. I'm going to keep this around just because I feel like you got to keep a hairspray. And I did not like the other one at all. I have not tried this one. So these back in the bin so these are the ones that I am keeping and these are the ones that I'm decluttering over here you guys I have a bin over here and these are giveaways throwaways and what else giveaway giveaways for the channel pass it on <laughs> and throwaways so yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please let me know what you guys have in terms of dry shampoo. That's amazing. A great edge control, like I said. And uh, yeah, any spray leave-in conditioners or blow-dry lotions, I am down for it. It just needs to be extra super light on this high porosity hair. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, love.